Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Sagittarius. Hope you're all well. Thank you so much for dropping in to listen. Let's see what's going on. Oops, we got a couple of cards here that aren't supposed to be here. And I'm actually going to use a whole different deck. There we go. <laughs> Sagittarius. What is the overall energy surrounding Sagittarius in their love life? The overall energy surrounding Sagittarius in love. What does Sagittarius need to know? Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? Gentle gardener. Okay. Wow. And wishing well. Somebody wearing a mask here, though. You gotta be careful of that. Be careful what you wish for. And we have a dry desert. Yeah. So be careful what you wish for here. There's someone here who, yeah, you're, you've, some of you, it's like all your contacts, everyone that you've had around you has kind of just disappeared. Okay. You're being careful what you wish for. You're looking out there. You're not really seeing anything on the horizon. But what I'm really feeling is you have somebody watching you, looking at you to see what's changed, to see what's going on with you. Somebody is keeping an eye on you. But be careful what you wish for with this person. This person's wearing a false mask possibly too. You see this mask here, right? Yeah, you're hoping for something, you know. But it's be careful what you wish for. It could be this person. They may be feeling lonely, desolate. Everything is dried up. They may have nobody around, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's like love is just kind of kind of left the building here. I feel more for this person than you, but let's see what's going on. Sagittarius, what's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Sagittarius viewers? Oops. What does Sagittarius need to know? Sagittarius, clear messages and guidance for Sagittarius regarding their love life. Sagittarius. You have four of swords. Beautiful. Yeah, somebody's holding back healing, doing a lot of thinking, trying to gain some kind of clarity. Yeah, I feel there's somebody here who's got their back turned. Maybe they've got their back turned to you. Could be vice versa. I'm going to read this as the person coming towards you, okay? Maybe your reaction towards them. You probably have turned your back to somebody. You may be healing. You're trying to gain some clarity, some insight, but it could be someone that's trying to gain some clarity. Maybe you ask this person what their intentions are, what they wanted. They're holding back, thinking. So yeah, I, you know, be careful what you wish for with this person. I kind of feel like... I'm going to be honest, if somebody takes a long time, they come towards you and they take a long time to figure out what it is that they want, what their intentions are as regards to you, you kind of probably have to turn your back and cut them out. Okay, I feel like they're watching you to see what's changed, what's developed here. Okay, this person may try another approach, maybe a gentle approach towards you. But they're being careful what they wish for. But I feel like it's in the middle. So I think it's you who's kind of seeing the clear, the clarity of the situation. If somebody holds back and they take too long to, to think, or maybe they're waiting to heal a situation where you cut them out, waiting for things to clear up. And, uh, but yeah, you know, I, I'm going to tell you, I feel like you don't see a lot of hope with this person. This card wanted to come out. Yeah, Six of Swords. Yeah, it's like you're learning from this too, right, Saj? Yeah, there's someone here, you know, your intuition's telling you to be careful what you wish for with this person. Yeah, they come in, come in, you know, offering you a cup, one foot in the door, one foot out kind of energy. This person doesn't know what they want. They haven't made up their mind yet. You may have somebody who just wants to come in and date. But you need to be careful. This person may be keeping secrets. And this is something that's making you hold back. Uh, okay. You're taking everything you learned here. And some of you are possibly going to cut this person out and kind of take what you've learned and move on. But I feel they're gathering info. They're looking and trying to come towards you. They need to figure out what they want. But I feel they're very secretive. They're keeping things to themselves. 
It's like they're hiding something. Yeah, there's some kind of burden here. And I actually feel like, um, you know, you're being careful what you wish for here too. This is somebody who, who may not behave in the most responsible manner. You want somebody who does their fair share in a relationship. So yeah, six of wands, you may be setting yourself free. This could be somebody who just wants to come in for attention. Um, you know, they got nobody else on the horizon. There's no one else around, so they're coming towards you. So be careful of this person. Okay, one foot in the door, one foot out. They won't share a lot of emotions or feeling. One cup, you know. Um, it is an action, though. They will move towards you. You know, they may want to go out with you, but I think you need to be careful uh, about this person. I think you need to be cautious. I really do. I feel like they're burdened by something. And yeah, we've got the two of swords. You can't see a way forward with this person. You're having a difficult time seeing a way forward. You see there's crows here, tricks, manipulation, something here, right? Like you're cautious. You know this person. You can't see a way forward of anyone who comes towards you with that energy, just looking for attention. I think they're trying to figure out a way to come towards you when they want attention. I feel this person has a big ego and they can't see a way forward because they know, right? They don't, they don't have anyone else around. Everything is dried up and this is what you need to be careful about is because all their other options have may set themselves free because they can't see a way forward with this person either and then they're going to try to come back to you. So we have the wheel, yeah, end of cycle. This is something has ended here. This person's going to try uh, to get things in their favor. Okay, be very careful. Knight of Swords, indecision. This person may rush in and rush right back out again. So yeah, be cautious, Sag, with this energy. Feel like this person has a lot of air in their chart, possibly some water, maybe Pisces. Very secretive. Your intuition's telling you to be cautious. This person isn't doesn't necessarily behave in a responsible manner. They won't take. Re this could be a, somebody coming back around that will not take responsibility for past actions. They have a huge ego. Like this person, you can't see a way forward. They're, this is someone who's trapped in their head, trapped in their ego. And you may just put an end to this. And I feel like they're making you indecisive as well. And you know not to rush into anything with them. Even if you're lonely and you're all by yourself, just be careful. But I feel like what's happened is, is <laughs> this person's options have dried up. Because this is the way they behave. So they're feeling stuck. And you may have, like I say, you may have asked this person, what are your intentions? What do you want? Where do you see this going? And they're thinking a lot about this. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, possibly. Thinking a lot and gathering up info. They want to come towards you and make peace. But <laughs> I, I feel like they're just hiding too much. There's too many secrets with this person. And you know it. You already know everything you need to know. You just can't see a way forward. You feel indecisive. And you know this person's indecisive too, that they likely will rush in and rush out, likely to go back. If anybody reaches out to them and gives them attention, they'll rush off to that person. So you got yourself a bit of an energy vampire here, is what I'm feeling. Somebody who just can't make up their mind. So yeah, this is somebody who is trying to figure out how to get things. Yeah, see, you got an energy vampire. That's the way I see the devil. This is person's unhealthy, toxic. They're obsessed with you. They rush in, rush out, can't make up their mind. And I think you're tired of it. Yeah, I feel like you're going to reject to this person or you have rejected them. And they, you know, they want to chase after you. And But I feel like all their options and all their possibilities, everything is just dried up for this person because of the way they behave. If it hasn't happened yet, it's more likely going to. Yeah, this person's going to come in and they have a, they're going to tell you a story. So this is someone who kind of tells you a story. They paint this picture. It's sort of poor me. It's all about me. You know, and, and I think you need to be careful. I think your feelings are going to dry up for this person, to be honest. I think you're running out of feelings for them. You may be alone. You may not have any other options right now. But you know what? This person is not a good option. I can see that. So tell me about the Four of Swords. Yeah, no pity. You don't want to... This person's looking for you to feel sympathy for them. 
I do, and I think they wear a false mask. Be careful what you wish for with this person. They'll just ghost you again. They'll rush in and rush right back out again. They're going to tell you a story, and it's toxic. It's not healthy. This person's all about themselves. It's poor me, my feelings, me, me, me. You're not going to accept this cup. You see, you're rejecting this cup. No, thank you. This is not good enough. Yeah, you got this person here. Yeah, some of you are manifesting a new beginning. You've been kind of holding back thinking about this person. And I do feel like this person's kind of manipulative. So be very careful. They may try to gather up some information and manipulate you. This is how they operate. But I feel like some of you are manifesting a new beginning. You may be on a dating site or you're just getting out more with friends, family, a little bit of social time. feel like you're manifesting a new beginning with somebody else. Or there is maybe a Gemini, possibly a Virgo uh, for some of you coming towards you, trying to manifest this new beginning. But be careful. This is somebody who's trying to manip may manipulate, trying to get things going in their favor. So caution. I feel like this has already happened. And I actually feel if this person's coming towards you, they have all the tools they need. They're gathering up the information, all the tools they need to come towards you. So they're watching you, looking to see what's going on. Keeping an eye on you, possibly on social media, to see if you've met anyone else, right? If How things are going with you. Yeah, I feel like you've already cut this person off because they, they manipulate. They try to get things going in their way. Yeah, this is somebody who rushes in and out. There they are. See? In and out for that passion. They don't have to be a fire sign. They could uh, be an Aries Leo or another have Sag in their chart, but I wouldn't hold my breath on it. I It's just that energy of the Knight of Rods rushing in, rushing out. Yeah, they just, I feel like you've ended things with this person. You're not interested. You're turning your back, Sag. Tell me about the Queen of Rods. You may be rushing off towards someone else. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, you know it, right? You want the truth and the clarity. You're going to cut this person out. You don't want them coming towards you like that. You're setting yourself free. You're ready for something new. I feel like you're taking everything you learned and you're moving away to avoid a disaster here. But they're still coming in. Yeah, you've got a choice. You have a choice between two people. You are getting a lot of attention yourself. You're being very clever, okay? This is something, too, that you've learned, is to ask what people's intentions are when they come towards you. And if they aren't clear and they can't give you clarity and tell you what they want and be honest and open without manipulating, you will cut them out and set yourself free. Because you do get a lot of attention. I see it. I think it's their, their options have dried up. This person's very alone. They're looking for answers, looking out there, like, what do I do, Right? Well, this is what this person does. They have some very unhealthy habits and behaviors. Uh, they may drink too much. Um, I feel that they, I think they just tell a lot of stories, a lot of fish tales. I don't think you can really trust anything they say. I feel like a lot of you would rather be completely single and alone than be with this person. I do. I feel like you just don't feel right about them. But you have this option. Tell me about the lover. Some of you have a Gemini, possibly. Uh, that you may meet. They may be at a bit of a distance. You may have met them on dating sites, social media. They could be in your neighborhood or in a group of friends. You may have scoped this person out on social media or vice versa. Yeah, wow, look at that. Yes, you have somebody else you may be having a reconciliation with. Childhood crush, I'm seeing a lot of that. Yeah, you're going to have some success here. You're going to have some kind of a victory. You're cutting someone out and moving towards someone else. You're, you're releasing something or somebody and moving towards something more successful. Beautiful energy. Tell me about the high priestess. Why is this here? Yeah, you know everything you need to know about this person. Uh, they just bring burdens towards you. Uh, I feel like this is somebody who just doesn't take responsibility for their actions or they just don't act in a responsible manner. So yeah, you're single, you're keeping to yourself, you're trusting your intuition, it's telling you to just stay single, you got everything that you need, Sanj, all right, you have everything that you need. Uh, I, and to be honest, I feel like this person who's coming towards you for attention, 
This person where you may have ended things because they were reaching out to other people, getting attention. You asked them what their intentions were, and I feel like instead of telling you what their intentions were, they just kind of took off and set themselves free. Well, they are going to come back. And I'm going to tell you, I feel like this person's getting cut out by other people. In fact, I think their options are drying up. Hmm, I think they're having a pity party. Oh, well, I mean, what can you do? It's their actions. It's their behavior. So I feel like this person's very secretive. They've always got something hidden. And I feel like what their secret is, is that they want to stay single. They actually just want to come towards people for attention. This person's got a massive ego. They want to keep everything they've acquired to themselves. They just want to come in, you know, a little romance, a little, you know, a little bit of love, a little passionate attention. Yeah, this person's not going to, they aren't, this isn't someone who will do their fair share, their take responsibility or do their fair share and pull the weight in a relationship. Not, not at all. No. Nope. Yeah, so there they are holding back. See, you're thinking about this person. You're holding back. Uh, they, they're they kind of holding back right now. They're thinking. Uh, they know. And I think this person's waiting for the energy to clear. Uh, you've cut them out. They're waiting for things to heal a bit. And then they're going to come back towards you. Yep, and then they're going to come back in for the passion. This person, do not trust this person. Be very, very careful, okay? Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Yep, there you are, Sag, standing up for yourself. You don't you don't want somebody who doesn't behave in a responsible manner. You're very focused. You have a lot of burdens and a lot of stuff on your shoulder right now. You don't need people who come in and add the burdens. You want someone who does their fair share. So I can see that. So you're being careful what you wish for. And I feel like this person is too. But they wear a false mask, and I think you know it. This person's pretty fake. Uh, they're going to come in and tell you a story, okay? It's going to be poor them, poor them. You're not going to accept this. It's not good enough if they come towards you. It's just not good enough. This person isn't taking responsibility for their actions. You cannot see a way forward. So I feel like you stood up to this person quite heavily, okay? So, yeah, I do. I feel like you took a stand. You know what you want. You know, Queen of Wands knows what she wants, right? She she's not afraid to go after what she wants. So I, I feel like you have somebody else. Yeah, there's no hope. You don't see this person. It's hopeless situation. I feel this person, they come in, they rush in for the attention, and then they ghost you and leave you. And this person actually, to be honest, this person actually has probably very low self-esteem. So what they do is they come in with this attitude, right? Now, you can't see a way past it, though. This person cannot. You feel like it's hopeless for this person to drop the ego. And it's a hopeless situation. Yeah, they keep secrets. They create a lot of confusion. Uh, they're always hiding something. There's a lot of fear here. I feel like this person does have low self-esteem, though. And I feel like they act this way possibly because it... You know, they come in, they, yeah, they have a lot of options, and they have to keep their options open because of it. Uh, they like to build up their ego, all right, by rushing in towards people when they get attention. They love it. This is an energy vampire, big time. Wow. Like, I'm talking huge, okay? This person's got some serious issues. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Why is this here? Let's see where you're headed with this. Yeah, you're purging and releasing this. There's a lack of balance. This person's going to come in and tempt you and test you, okay, to see what they can get away with. So they may have come in and tested you, and they may have already done this, uh, but I feel like you're ignoring them. I feel like you rejected this. You're not accepting this pity party, uh, this toxic behavior. Um, yeah, wow. It, this cycle's over, Um and I feel this person was trying to get things going in their favor, trying to get the wheel moving. But they came in with an indecisive energy. They rushed in without having all the information. So whatever it is that they're trying to do, they're using manipulation as well. So be cautious. Be cautious. I feel like you're purging and releasing this, though. I do. I feel like you... You may have a lot of chemistry with this person, but yeah, you're going to release this. You're not getting trapped in this again. You know it. This person keeps coming back around the same way. 
and you're just going to reject them. I think you're finished. Yeah, this person has this, always has a strategy. They're always up to something. They think they're very clever, very strategic, and you know this, okay? You know this, so you cannot see a way forward. And they are just, they're too indecisive. They're up in their head. They spend too much time scheming, planning, and conniving, <laughs> right and manipulating to get what they want and it's like you're just not interested this is something you may not have seen before okay you may not have recognized this with this person before but now you know you've learned so some of you are really just you're quite happy to just <laughs> be completely by yourself your intuition is telling you to keep just stay put hold yourself in high regard keep everything to yourself and just wait, because I feel there's somebody else coming towards you. Tell me about the gentle gardener. Yeah, so you got this person here. See, this is somebody who is not emotionally available. I feel like you've walked away from this person. They're watching you to see if you've actually moved on towards someone else. I actually do feel you have some kind of reunion. Something is about to go in your favor. You have somebody who's going to come charging after you. you got a choice between two. And you have a couple people here, uh, one for sure that has very sweet feelings. I feel like it could be like a lot of people I'm seeing, this childhood friend, this person from the past appearing. There could be success and victory there. And I do feel you need to cut one person out to move forward to this person. This is what this gentle gardener, which is this person here. Uh, and, you know, it's funny because I see this person as... I'm going to be honest, I see them a little bit more as a coward, okay, uh, than a gentle gardener. This person just absolutely cannot speak their truth. This person is very secretive, uh, very low self-esteem. So what basically what they do is they come in for attention to build their ego. Very secretive. And I do feel like they are afraid that it's too late. Uh, I feel that they want to come back around, but they're going to act exactly like they did before. This person thinks they're smart, but they're not that smart. This is the thing. There's things that they're not actually seeing. Here they are being strategic, but they're also indecisive. And th there's things that they're not seeing that they're getting wrong. This person doesn't really get what they're doing is wrong. This is why they get rejected. I feel like this person's being rejected a lot. For the same behavior. Oh, tell me about the wishing well. Oops, a whole whack of cards. We'll just take one. What is the wishing well here for? What is this for? There we go. Yeah, so somebody here. Yeah, someone didn't take your feelings into consideration. They regret not treating you like the empress. This is somebody who uh, didn't recognize the possibilities. They didn't see what they had right before their eyes. This is somebody who's completely blown it. They're having a pity party right now. And what they failed to do while they came in and communicated with you was to tell you how they felt about you with this Empress energy, that they see the abundance, they see the possibilities. Um, they regret it, but it's too late. They're now having a pity party. They're now, you know, carrying on here, upset uh, that they didn't get what they wanted. And I feel that you're very careful. You're going to be very careful any decision you make uh, if somebody doesn't take responsibility for their actions and they aren't a responsible person, you're putting your foot down, okay? You're holding yourself in the highest regard. You are the one in control here. Don't forget that, okay? Uh, you're, you're a lot stronger than this person. So tell me about the dry desert. Yeah, so see this person here, yeah, see they're... This person's very dry, very lacks emotion. They're thinking about all this energy. They're thinking about all of this, why they got rejected, what happened, what did they miss, what did they get wrong, how can they make this right? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong with this person. They, they, aren't, they lack emotion. They lack feelings. The only one they have emotion and feelings for is themselves. They didn't take responsibility for what they did to you fully they offered one little cup to you one little fishtail with a story you know it's well i'm sorry but this is what was wrong with me and poor me and you know that's what you got and i feel like that's what you're gonna get be very careful this person's emotionally detached and i feel like a lot of people are detaching themselves from this person this person seeking other options 
they know you're setting yourself free. You've cut them out. You're going out. They know you get a lot of attention as well. And that it's very possible you have other people. Because you are just right. They see you that way. And I feel like this person, what happened is, is they didn't come towards you right. They, they absolutely did not. I feel like their options have all dried up. Yeah, they didn't come in right. They came in like this. Dressed like a man but behaving like a child. They didn't come in right. You may have a couple people actually coming towards you that way. You're cutting them all out. You're walking away. You're not into it. You're absolutely not into it. I can see it. I'm seeing a lot of people going through this very same energy. It's this year, 2020, the Great Awakening. People are waking up, holding themselves in high regard, taking the power and the strength they have to cut these kind of people out of their life. So these people go on their own lessons. They have their own lessons to learn. They need to be accountable. They need to be more responsible. They need to treat people properly. Uh, they need to release this ego and quit being secretive, deceptive, dishonest. You know, you feel like there's no hope for this person to ever come in truly, honestly, uh, in the right energy. You know that they're only going to come back and do exactly what they did before. So I feel like you're, there's a lack of balance the way this person approached you. I feel like they're going to try to tempt you. But you're, you're not even going to look at it. you got two blindfolds on here. Look at that. Sorry, not interested in this again. Not repeating this with you again. And you aren't going to repeat your words to this person, whatever you said. They need to actually stop. And I do feel like they're pretty obsessed. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't figure out how to approach you, what to say. They know you're very guarded. And they know, right? But they, the thing is, is they, this person, they think about everything in the wrong way. There's just, they always have to have some kind of strategy. Why not just come in open and honest? Why do they got to play games? Why do they have to bring all this toxicity with them? Because you're just not accepting it. I can see you rejecting this. Like, sorry, this is just not good enough. No way. So there you go. Yeah, this person's dishonest. You can't trust this person. They're manipulative. They play mind games and you just, you don't even want to look at it. You don't want this up in your head anymore, I feel. Whew. Yeah, you're putting an end, painful ending. I feel like you just didn't accept this from this person. So this hasn't happened and you got this kind of person around you. You may finally decide to put an end to this and move on. So I'm going to look and see. I do feel like you have other people around you. I don't feel like anything's really moving forward towards you just right yet because you're still in this person's negative energy. And I do feel like they're coming back, but your intuition is telling you to just stay single, keep everything to yourself, hold back, heal and release this person and uh, so that you can have a passionate new beginning with someone else, okay? Because I feel there's someone here, all they do is focus on the passion in a relationship. It's all they care about, and they're all about themselves. This is someone that's all like me, 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 like a child, right? Um, maybe they were spoiled as a child by their family. Maybe if it's a guy, maybe they had uh, three older sisters that pampered them to death, right? <laughs> Who knows, and gave them everything they wanted. And as they grew up, they were, they were this knight of rods, right? Yeah, all about me. I'm just going to rush in, get what I want, and go. I don't need to give anything. I'm just going to take. Yeah, so I feel like there's something here. I feel like your patience is worn out. This person's waiting for the right time to approach you. Yeah, see, this is what this person does. So, and you're very aware. You've become very clear. You've learned a lot about this person over time because they've been in and out a few times. You've learned through experience, through thinking, through clarity. You're becoming very clear in your own knowledge. This person will wait till you have rested and rejuvenated, and then they're going to come back around, okay, and try again. So this is what they do, and they don't do this just to you. They do this to other people. This person is a very low vibration, very, very low vibration, okay, very toxic, very deceptive, dishonest. They always have a story, and, so, and the thing is, is what they do is instead of taking responsibility for how they treat you that makes you walk away, all right, what this person does is they revert this on to you giving them attention. And I feel like you're just not doing it. They want you to sympathize with them, 
to feel sorry for them because of what the reason they hurt you is because of something that happened to them or you know whatever their story is don't buy it it's a fish tale it's just a story they paint a picture they figure this out in their head and they paint this picture how they're going to tell you something and i feel like you're finished you're cutting this person out once and for all i do i i think you're done oh sag it's a tough one i know it is I know it is. You're setting yourself free. You're going off towards other options. I feel like you're going to have a some kind of reconciliation or some kind of uh, reunion with, I feel, a group of people. Things are very much going to go in your favor. You're done with this. You're letting it go. Yeah, goddess of the moon, right? You know. You, want, you don't want this secrets, mystery, confusion, delusions. You're finished with it. No, you want love. You want romance. You don't need this. Yeah, spirit's guiding you. Somebody else got this. Another fire sign actually got this. So, of course, the two of you likely will be in connection. <laughs> yeah, see, there's an unhealthy attachment. Some of you are be, being guided to release people that have a... Release those unhealthy attachments. Somebody's attached to you in a very unhealthy manner where they're attached to you and they don't want to let go. And they are very toxic okay very very uh they ha may have drinking problems drinking drugs who knows what it is right but you're letting it go once and for all you're tired of being stabbed in the back by this person as well yeah this person's thinking a lot trying to get clarity they're thinking of you yes they are see they see the possibilities you have i think you've got a couple people thinking about you i do I feel like you have somebody who is just right, somebody who is not so right. You've got a choice. You're going to have some kind of success, some kind of truth. Um, you're going to get some kind of victory to do with this reunion with some somebody from a long time ago. Or it's just a very sweet reconciliation because you have this choice, moving away from one and moving towards something much better. So you're just going to stay single for now until this takes this happens. That's what your intuition staying. Just stay single. Keep to yourself until this victory comes in. This is going to be a communication that's going to bring victory, very positive news, new ideas, beautiful. It's abundance. It's going to be beautiful. All right. It's just you're just going to have to be patient. It's going to happen. Yeah, community. Yeah, there's somebody else got this. There's a bunch of you fire signs that are going to have this energy going on. Reconciliations with some people. You're going to be thinking about somebody. They're thinking about you. Truth and clarity. Make sure you ask somebody what their intentions are that comes towards you. But I feel like you're, go you're dealing with this person. And I feel there's other fire signs that are dealing with something similar it's you're all in this energy now where you're really taking a stand you're really finding that power and that bravery and you're putting your foot down you're putting an end to people who come towards you that don't do their fair share in a relationship you're sick and tired of it you're you're just finished you're standing up for yourself you're p very passionate about your words and what you're saying about this as well you've been putting a lot of thought into this you're cutting someone out and moving towards something a much much better and if you don't see that much better coming, it's actually already around you. Other people may be talking about some event, some kind of get-together with old friends, maybe from school, college, university, and that's where you're going to bond with this person. It could be an old lover from a long time ago when you were really young. I feel like it could go back... Could could go back as far as childhood it's going to be very sweet you both have sweet memories and sweet feelings of each other and there is success coming so hold on for that okay be patient it will happen oh yes it will and i feel like it's just you're gonna to have to now that you're getting this reading you're gonna be like oh my god who is this what's going on who's going to reach out somebody is going to come towards you and tell you about this reunion this get together and these things are going to move forward and it will it's going to help you end this 
with this person where you've been trapped in this horrible situation. Now, you may not even be around this person, but you're still in that energy, right? It's like every time you turn around, it takes a long time. They wait for you to heal from the last time they hurt you and stabbed you in the back. They wait for you to heal and they come back and do it all over again. And I feel like you need to... It, you're going to take a stand. You're out of here. I can tell. I can tell. You guys have got something beautiful, so go for it, whatever it is, okay? Cooperation, teamwork, compromise, a team player. You want somebody more compatible, and uh, that's what you're going to get. And it's not just where you're not compatible with this person in the past, but what's, what's not compatible is their overall behavior. If this was a healthy person, you'd probably be very compatible, right? But you just can't be because of their toxic behavior. Wow. Yeah, you got something better coming. Whoops. Here we go. Yeah, moving away. So yeah, you're waiting for this somebody to come towards you. They're at a distance. There is movement, I feel. Some of you are moving, changing locations while this is all going on as well. But there is this person coming back. And it's going to take a while for this arrangements to be made because I feel they're at a bit of a distance. They have to travel. Don't feel necessarily like they're really far away. Um, I'm not seeing the world here where they're super far, but, you know, they may be across the water or something. Uh, it's all about plans. Maybe they have to find a place to stay, arrange this uh, sort of a reunion. This reunion could be just between the two of you, but it could. I feel like it's involving other people. And somebody is going to hit you up and tell you about it. And you're going to go for it. Yes, you know it. Trust your intuition. Your intuition will guide you, okay? Your intuition is very uh, strong right now. Use that Empress energy. You have the power to control this situation. You also have the power to take this stand and put an end to this burdensome relationship. Some of you are packing your bags and moving on. You're finished with this. All right. <laughs> you're moving on. Yeah, you're done. Awesome. Let's uh, wrap this up. One more card. Tell me about the Queen of Rods. There you go. Yes, you're going to get another offer. Somebody is going to make you an offer or you're going to give it to somebody. Oh, you got a couple offers of love coming in. Wow. Yeah, one of them you will... Not sacrifice yourself because, self because it's a be careful what you wish for. So someone, you got one person that's going to sabotage a, a situation that's going to make you an offer, all right? Because they're not going to tell you everything that they need to tell you, all their feelings, everything. And they're not taking responsibility, so they're sabotaging it. You got another person coming in making you a solid offer. So there's that be careful what you wish for. See, this is somebody who sabotages things. They... This is somebody who re keeps repeating their toxic behavior. So you're not sacrificing yourself for that person, but you have another person. You have a solid beginning coming. So your end of burdens are over. I don't think you're going to be single for a whole lot longer. Something is coming to end. Something is transforming beautifully here. Things are going to go in your favor in your love life, all right? So hang in there. Take care of yourselves. Wait for this to progress. If this is your story... Be patient. Stay single. It's saying take care of yourself, your money, your home. Get yourself together, whatever it is, because there's a lovely person who wants to reconcile from a long time ago, I feel. It's all probably going to start showing up on social media. Okay, If you're not on social media, you could miss out on this, but somebody still may contact you that sees this. Okay, A friend of a friend of a friend kind of thing. So take care. I wish you the best and bye for now.